The Demo 9 program is one that requires some debugging. This program will compile normally, but when executed, it will produce incorrect results. Before compiling the program, let's take a brief look at it. It has a function called calcsum, which is going to accept and process two float variables. The calling function will call the function and pass to it the numeric var variables num1 and num2 respectively, which are entered by the user. After the calculation takes place, then cout statements will display the two numbers along with the sum. The function itself is a very simple one where you simply are adding num1 and num2 and returning the value of that num1 and num2. I'll compile this program. By the way, on an alternative to clicking on build and then build demo 9 is to use the shortcut toolbar button that you see here. This, of course, is in Microsoft Visual C. You'll notice that the program does compile normally, and then we'll execute. I'll type in the number 7 and the number 8. And as you can see, the program returns the sum of 7 and 8 is 0, which obviously is the wrong answer. You may want to retrieve this program from your disk. It's called Demo 9 to see if you can determine where the problem is. From a syntax point of view, this program is working perfectly. The problem is, is that there is no place for the result of this calculation to be returned to. The calling statement is structured correctly, except if we want to display the sum, then we need to tell it that the value of sum is the result of this function. So we should let sum equal the calc sum function, which is num1, num2, being added together. Now let's recompile this program to verify its results. And then re-execute. And I'll enter the number 7 and the number 4. And as you can see, it does perform the addition correctly and displays the result of 7 and 4 as being 11. Once again, you might want to study this program as another example of value returning functions in a program.